you are watching TWCC TV.
certain kings they went and besieged the Jerusalem city but could not overtake it they turned back towards Judah and they went into Ephraim when they arrived in Ephraim they were very close into entering Judah. The king of Judah, Ahaz, who is Ahaz, he heard that the army has arrived into Ephraim. Meaning that this army was drawing very near. meaning that the trouble was almost near them. The Bible says this man was then shaken. He was shaken unto, unto like likened unto the trees being shaken by winds. Because this man was a king Yet he was a man of God. God saw the fear that were into Ahaz. God dislikes fear. It is only one fear that the Lord is pleased with. The fear of the Lord. Amen. God dislikes fear. He only allows or permit one fear which is the fear of God. Fear makes you take wrong decisions. Fear will take you where you are rooted and to another place that you are not supposed to be. That is fear. When you are filled with fear, the way you perceive things would not be the same or normal. 
if you ask those people that did not make it through in the driving school highest percentage of them was not failure because they were not able to drive but it was failure because of anxiety fear will kill you and God said unto Isaiah this king he is full of fear that he dethroned himself or out of the royal palace there in the royal palace he was protected by his soldiers but now he left the royal palace into the valleys he does not even know where he's headed he is being driven by fear into the valley and God said Isaiah go and speak to this man and tell him I know him and the Bible says and tell him this is what I require of you first of them all just be aware the first one be aware or aware of what is happening around you aware of the trouble that is approaching near be aware that the army has arrived in Ephraim already second when now you know of this fear not in other words fear it means you being fearful means that you have nothing that you are hopeful of it means that that is where you have ended now anything whatsoever can happen now God says you may be it's good to be aware of what is happening around you tell him to be aware of his surroundings when now he is aware he should not be fearful because I the Lord am available for him Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you have abide in me, you will need the knowledge, the knowledge of knowing where your armies are, where the enemies are. Just prepare yourself. But you should not be fearful. Because I, the Lord, will are with you fear will bring will come because you don't know what you hope into if you don't have a shield you will start being fearful of what will happen later Amen. a certain woman aunt asked me a question we were in the funeral of, of her beloved husband he was left with the children and she said unto me pastor what will happen she was actually looking at those keys that were left just tell me pastor what will happen that the breadwinner is no more is deceased and she said unto me pastor what will happen what about this key that is still very young by the time he is 15 years what would have happened it was fear of the future I said unto the woman I've never seen a grave because of poverty 
I've never seen death because of poverty. God has been there through it all. He made sure those that are without are having something to eat. Even unto this day, that woman is a testimony of what we spoke in about fear. Comes only when you don't have anything to hope for. Knowledge is required, yes. You need to be aware of where is your enemy. You need to be aware how to handle your enemy. But if you know the God that you have, you will have to know that after it all, God is with me. Amen. 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 He must be aware of his surroundings. He should be calm. Everything that you have done when you are not calm or settled, they were not done accordingly. Those things that you have done when you are not calm or when you are not settled, they are not done accordingly. God said, now when you are aware, be calm. Amen. I wish I was just called to, to preach unto you that be calm. Tell the whole world that be calm. There are people that are not used to the calmness. Lockdown, level five. In the lockdown when we were in level five. There were certain times where we in our stand and just look. I, I, I have to go somewhere. And I just think I have to be somewhere. It was, I was just uneasy. I was not used to being in one place. I was used to having calls to go. that you know the enemy is drawn closer be calm and God said tell him to be calm and when he has done so I the Lord will fight for him when he had not refused to be aware or to know when now he is full of knowledge, when he had acquired the knowledge of who is your enemy, who is closer to me, where exactly are they? He was calm. When he was calm, I, the Lord, will fight for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us be calm, Church of God. We have the Lord that will fight for our battle. Let's not rumor around. Let's not rumor around. Be calm. And believe and trust in the Lord that has called us. Amen. Amen. And the Lord said, Be calm. All the plans planned by these kings when you are full of the knowledge of what is happening around you when you have known your enemies you know where exactly they are standing and you stand and be still I the Lord Amen. will fight your battle I the Lord will fight your battles just listen to what verse 9 says. 
imichano hube ufurupela nne. Let your hope be on me. Nasa ditika ngane anina mutu. When you have stand still, when you have stand still and calm, knowing your enemies, knowing exactly where they've placed themselves, then stand firm in me. If you don't do so, you will not stand at all. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Above, I am a Mapo When now the, the army is fierce, and God said unto Isaiah, Run. These times that they are living at. It is the agency of time. Run. Amen. 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 Run so that you may not be overcome by fear. Make sure your answers are fast so that your fear will not come up. Make sure you stand firm in the Lord so that you are able to run when now as I run you take forth what is supposed to stop the problem we need Christians like me so that I can call upon scientists to be faster I need men and women who will stand firm in me so that I may call upon Isaiah so that Isaiah will come and call calmness upon you. We need people who are aware of their enemies. You need to be aware how dangerous is your enemy. How, you need to know where your enemy is. If you know all those three, when you are hoping in Christ, be stand still. When you hope in Christ, that makes God take those that are supposed to give you answer to come quicker run Isaiah run Gidima Isaiah Gidima somebody somebody is about to give up amen 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 hallelujah hey no fabangu bachimba bachiri hit the second teller Amen. Yeah. We need those that will stand firm in him, by him. If you stand by him, he is forced to call upon Isaiah. Now, I think it's like God can see Isaiah as he's an elderly person. And he said, this elderly can take time. And he take along the sun so that you may be faster. So that when you get tired, the boy will run. Only if you hope in me. There are people who hope in you. Therefore, your answer will arrive quicker. If you don't stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all. If you don't stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all. In the faith of the Lord, you will not stand at all and no rewards whatsoever. But if God does not call Isaiah, we have a problem in this world. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If God does not send Isaiah to you to come and bring calmness, we are in deep trouble. But the Bible says, My people who are called by my name, when they humble themselves and forget their ways, I, the Lord, will hear them from above. God will never lie. He said, I will hear you from above. God will never forget his word. God will never change against his word. He said, I will. I will hear them from the above. And Amen. I will heal their land. Thank you, Jesus. The scientists are busy now. Scientists are busy looking for vaccines and treatments. But oh, yes. certain medicines is us. Listen to this. Ten minutes if a president says or declares that let the congregation continue to worship in this way that has been organized if this situation is not changed or made better and we find that cases are going sky higher they will have to lock down the churches again so that they can flatten the curve. Let us see those people who oh, were Jesus. locked down in their houses oh, who yes. know the Lord who were given Jesus. this opportunity oh, for them to stand and say the Lord oh, cares for us for them to stand and say God oh, is the God that oh, answers God is able oh, oh, his oh, name oh, is Jesus let us see the difference that there is a church that is worshipping South right Africa now. let us see the difference in South Africa that truly so there are those that believe in God Jesus a certain singer says this situation that is why you are not going to be able to do this and you are not going to be able to do this this is the Show us what you have, what you are able to do in these opportunities that you are given. We need the God of Elijah. Ah. God who answers by fire. I need the God. God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We need the God of Daniel. Amen. God who acts immediately. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We need the God of Elijah. 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 Noneta, noneta, na batu ba shunga zipulani. Dono ringeza shume nyana. Shine shingawa ni nazo sosare. Shine na bunifu shinga tusa. Namura unyana riri shino ai. Shine riri nura beri rine batindi. Riri God who answers by fire. We call upon God who answers by fire. It's how we let it it have a way. Come down and shake away this situation. Di kuba ramba. I'm inviting you all. Arura beri rini shamba. Let us go and pray for this world. Let us pray for the leadership of this world. Let us pray for the scientists of this world. Those that were given opportunities. Let's not allow us to go back to logo level five. Let it be evident enough that there are believers who are prayerful. 
God will never hear your prayers because how many of you are and how many millions you have. Only if there are two or three and we make a covenant and we say to the Lord this opportunity that was given to the churches we don't want the church to be part of increasing the cases of That's the infections. All the precautionary measures were taken care of. We don't want the church to be part of the statistics for the infections. We want the church to be part of the solutions. We want us to be in prayer. It doesn't matter whether your prayers will be mentioned or not. We don't noted. need any recognition. We don't need any recognition. We need the solution for our country. We need the solution for the world. In Jesus' name. May God do you good. Hallelujah. Amen. When you pray, Vari Mzimu. say to the Lord, Ruma call and send Isaiah. Ruma send Isaiah so oh, that yes. the solution can come quicker. You who were available in the service, Kavadzik. be calm. Kavadzik. Stand firm and make sure that this is a new normal for now. Make sure you abide by all rules. But call upon the Lord of Isaiah. Call upon the Lord of Elijah. God will answer by fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. May God richly bless you. Amen. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to sing this line. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Si Sorry. 